Oklahoma City. This is an OU update with Ryan Aber. I'm Jenny Carlson. Ryan Sooners finished out the regular season with the win down at TCU. Hate to say, <laughs> but no surprise there. TCU at the bottom of the Big 12. But still, solid win. What impressed you about the way the Sooners played that day? I think the, the biggest thing is just the way they dominated. They were expected to dominate. Uh, obviously, they won by 30. But uh, the way that they were able to score consistently, it's not something that they did. Uh, you know, that, that game against TCU here in Norman was a, a tight game right into the last three minutes. They, they got out uh, to a lead really early in that game and took over. And because of that, they were able to get a lot of players rest. I wrote about Ryan Spangler today uh, getting some time on the bench because of D.J. Bennett's progress and obviously the way that game went. And uh, Cam Clark was able to sit down for stretches. Uh, Jordan Woodard. So they were able to, to get some of those bench guys who had been playing key roles to play expanded minutes and uh, rest them going into this week's Big 12 tournament. So they got the, the best of both worlds. They get good momentum going forward and rest. I mean, that's the kind of thing you want, especially as the number two seed in the Big 12 tournament. Talk about the Sooners' road to potentially win in this thing. Well, I don't see how it could be better for this, the Sooners. They have a 7-1 and one record against teams on their side of the bracket, only 5-5 five and five against the other side. Obviously, you only have to play that, that side once if you're able to get there. But uh, they'll play uh, the winner of Baylor TCU, expected to be Baylor, uh, on Thursday night at 6. And, and they, they swept Baylor. And then they play a, a Texas or a West Virginia team if they're able to get by Baylor. Now, Baylor's playing uh, really well uh, since that loss in Norman a, a few weeks ago. But uh, certainly Texas and West Virginia, the way they stack up, they'd have to feel really good about that matchup in the semifinals on a neutral court. So let's say the Sooners do make a deep run in the Big 12 tournament. How much could it affect seeding? Where are they now and where could they get to? Well, they're, they're right on the edge of a, a four and five now based on uh, what most bracketologists say. Uh, I talked to Shelby Mast, who, who's a bracketologist for USA Today. Uh, last week and he said they've got a chance to get up to a three now a lot of that depends on what happens in other conference tournaments and other uh, what happened over the weekend I think they're still sitting right on that four and five line they need to, to make a deep run to even think about sniffing the three but uh, a four or five are certainly realistic options right now and and you're gonna if you're a four you're gonna play a five in the, in the second round vice versa so uh, they're pretty well set on, on what they're going to be for the NCAA tournament. But still, you got to like four and five. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're at least in those first couple rounds, you're feeling like you're, you're going to win some games in the NCAA tournament. Absolutely. And obviously, there's been a history with the 5-12 game of a lot of upsets there. But uh, it, it looks like, from, from what I've read, uh, looking at what other bracketologists are projecting, that uh, they should have a pretty good matchup in that first round. It shouldn't be one of those teams that uh, 12 that you know in, know going in is going to be a, a tough out. Uh, if they play well, if their guards play well, which is always the key in the NCAA tournament, no, you has guards, yeah. uh, you know, five deep. Uh, they're going to be all right. So uh, it, it looks like a pretty good road for the Sooners right now. All right, thanks, Ryan. Sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman. Thank <laughs> you.